Hi, my name is Togogo Alltrade, and the following is a collaboration between my YouTube channel, Cold Fusion, and the ABC. Many people may not be aware of this, but the current education system is a leftover relic from the Industrial Revolution. Kids were brought together in a classroom, facing an instructor, in order to be trained for factory work. The world has changed massively since then, but the education system isn't really keeping up. There isn't much room for catering to the needs of each student, and with AI systems such as ChatGPT, the homework can even be done automatically. So what's the point anymore? Could there be another way? There are many fears around AI today, but what if we think about it a bit differently? Imagine a world where every child or young adult could get a world-class education with a custom tutor, for free. This is the promise that artificial intelligence has, an adaptive, living, breathing textbook. But it begs a very important question. In this future, what is the value of a university degree? In the second episode of this three-part series on AI, we'll take a look. In China, some classrooms are opting to use AI in order to scan the brainwaves of students to see if they're concentrating. The aim is to improve classroom attention and improve student grades. This heavy-handed approach is dystopian to many. It'll be the nightmare of most children. But there are more subtle and arguably better ways of implementing AI in the classroom. In April of 2023, Bill Gates stated that AI chatbots will teach kids to read in 18 months. Quote, You'll be stunned by how it helps. The AIs will get that ability to be as good a tutor as any human ever could. End quote. And he very well may be correct. AI can enhance personalized learning by analyzing students' learning patterns, strengths, and weaknesses, allowing educators to tailor their teaching methods to individual needs. This can result in more effective and engaging learning experiences. Adaptive learning platforms could adjust their content and pacing to optimize for student outcomes. Currently, if a student is lagging behind on a particular subject, this affects the confidence and performance in the rest of that subject. With AI, the student can have unlimited training and instruction until they master that particular area. The AI system will provide a back and forth conversational style tailored to the student these intelligent tutoring systems can provide individualized support and feedback to students, acting as virtual assistants to help them navigate complex topics and address misconceptions. For those of us that are older, I'm sure we would have loved something like this to exist when we we're in school. These systems can also work in tandem with human teachers. It can ensure that every student receives the attention they need to succeed. A student could input a photo of their handwritten algebra homework and an AI system such as ChatGPT4, which is now multimodal, meaning it can recognize images and text, could scan the paper and instruct the student on where they're going wrong. On the teacher's end, AI can automate grading and provide real-time feedback for students. This allows teachers to focus on the more value-added tasks and grading consistency. AI can also optimize resource allocation in educational institutions by analyzing data on student performance, course enrollments, and facility usage. This can lead to a more efficient and more effective educational system. But there's also another aspect to this, an elephant in the room. If an AI system such as ChatGPT can answer basically any question you ask, students can use it to do assignments and other classwork. Although there are defensive AI systems that can detect AI-generated text, they're not going to be perfect, and the AI generators will improve over time, making them redundant. Eventually, this is going to turn into an arms race between the AI text generators and detectors. So the question must be asked, are university degrees still worth it? According to Statista, in Australia, the share of the population with a university degree at bachelor's level or above has increased by more than six times from 1989 to 2022. In 2022, it reached 50.8%. This increased supply of graduates has negatively affected the value of degrees and graduate wages. Meanwhile, the price of education has skyrocketed. Starting out your professional life with debt and a flooded market of peers has many asking, what's the point? And who can blame them? This sentiment has existed for a little while. But with generative AI coming on the scene, 
it seems like some white collar jobs will disappear too. AI is proving to be great for business, which is a future problem for the humans entering the workforce. In fact, IBM recently announced that they were replacing 7,800 jobs with AI and more companies are following suit. As per a 2022 McKinsey & Company report, the effect of AI in respective sectors is stark. According to the survey they ran, here are the cost decreases because of AI. Supply chain management, 52%. Service operations, 45%. And strategy and finance, 43%. Revenue increases, marketing and sales, 70%. Product development, 70%. Strategy and finance, 65%. So, as the slow march of AI continues, is it still worth going to uni? Well, there are some things to consider. A good university education should also have a focus on developing critical thinking, problem solving, and communication skills and this will still be crucial in a world swamped with AI. AI can give you an answer, but is it correct? Does the output align with what's required? Moreover, critical thinking skills can be transferable across various industries and are less likely to be replaced by AI systems. Number two, diverse learning experiences. A university degree offers students exposure to diverse subjects and learning experiences. This should foster a well-rounded understanding of the world and promote lifelong learning. This broad perspective can be beneficial in a constantly changing job market where adaptability is key. And finally, networking opportunities. Universities provide students with opportunities to build networks and establish connections with peers, faculty, and industry professionals. These interpersonal relationships can prove invaluable when navigating the job market and advancing one's career. Collaboration and communication skills are often found at universities, and they're very important and a skill that can't be replaced with AI. At least, not yet. With a ban on AI systems being impractical, universities are battling an arms race against intelligent systems. In some ways, they can help students and even the university be more efficient. But on the other hand, it's a giant wake-up call for traditional education. Memorizing and information retention will have to be replaced with hands-on, interactive, and critical thinking methods of teaching. The Australian National University has seen what's coming and decided to take decisive action. ANU has opted to change the design of assessments to focus more on lab activities and field work. Exams, on the other hand, will be more focused on oral presentations. This is probably a good direction to go in, in my view. Over in South Australia, some universities have allowed for the use of AI in assignment work, but only under the condition that it's disclosed. Amanda Jansen, an academic developer at the University of South Australia, explains to the Goldburn Post, quote, We have to look at our assessments and consider how we can work with the students and with artificial intelligence to make sure our students aren't left behind. We have advised that academic staff members should be communicating with their students how it should and shouldn't be used, and where students can use it. The University of Western Australia is still working on a framework, but states that undisclosed sources are not permitted. So, although there is still a need for a lot of the skills that universities provide, it's still useful for those considering what to study to think carefully about what aspects of their career could be replaced with AI. It's uncomfortable, but prudent. For those who are STEM focused, universities may find it useful to include sections of the curriculum that include neural networks and computer science aspects. Thanks for watching and check out the ABC if you want to see some other stuff.